What is up, bros? Josh here. In today's video, we are doing a weekly replays video. We pick one of your replays each week, show it off, not only break down the gameplay, but also show some really good play in World of Warships. This week we have, I'm probably going to slaughter it, Isasum, Isasum, and is Helena, one of my favorite Tier 7 cruisers, the Tier 7 light cruiser for the USN line. And this thing is an absolute beast. We're actually going to see, too, on my Helena, we actually run... Uh, the Halsey captain so if he does get confederate or anything like that we could potentially see some pretty nuts reload but we'll see how he plays this out and he actually spawned on one of the best sides for this ship now he's going to a different side than i normally would as you see there was a pretty big lemming train for this as you kind of see the whole side is going to the right side that's the first main thing i see so him going off to the left side normally what i would do is i would go right here he does have this destroyer to potentially spot it is actually a double cb game so there will be lots of spotting so he i tend to use these islands over here but looks like he's going to go for the opposite approach and try to get those cross shots on the ships over here which is also a pretty good setup um normally i would go on the other side he probably would have been able to uh, get some shots over here, but likes must like this side a little bit more a little bit slower play in my opinion for the start But we'll hopefully kind of work on him as long as he's getting spots He will have a lot of control over on these islands and we'll be able to pump out a lot of damage Normally what I like to do though is I like to go up to this little island This side is much better for a ship with this kind of arc so Atlanta Flint um, Any kind of light cruiser like that even the Dallas or any cruisers really in general with any kind of arc um, if I was a IGN cruiser or a Russian cruiser, I would go a tad more on this side. But with the uh, kind of floaty floaty arcs, the faster fire rate, I tend to like this spot a tad more. But he's going to play a little different, which is okay. Luckily, what he's seen over here isn't too terrible. Things I'd actually be a bit more worried about. And he doesn't have the tracers of Halsey. I don't know if that's just how the... Uh, the replay is going to show it looks like he probably doesn't have halsey on this so we aren't going to see the fun time of the uh bonus reload but things i'd be more worried about for him not so much the camelus congo but probably the actual new orleans itself because that new orleans ap can be pretty nasty against that light armor those 203s um also he is kind of asking the he's he's checking to see if these guys he does have incoming fire alert too so he is going to be using that throttle jockey ability what i mean by throttle jockey is he's going to be changing his speed you can actually watch it down here so lots of stop and go and challenging them to hey i'm going to be shooting at you feel free to shoot at me best of luck um and honestly if he would have end up going to here he would have been able to farm these guys probably about the same damage as possible but he would have already been able to start running but he has chosen a pretty aggro filled um play style this is very this is something you will see a lot on let's say like a legendary module des moines where they are saying hey i'm willing to have this fight let's have this fight your aim versus my aim and obviously has chosen to say hey my aim is just as good if not better than yours best of luck let's see who wins so already up to 30k the Helena, though, in a double CV game is probably one of the better cruisers you could get. And he has popped the fighter plane as well as the AA consumable and going to shred this Ryujo. If those CVs continue to go for him or if the Ryujo... The Ryujo actually is going for probably the right target right now. Um, he does have to be a little bit careful of going broadside to these guys. But he is dark right now and he's going to be able to shred those Ryujo planes. No big deal. The Helena's AA. I don't know what his captain build is. Probably has some kind of captain build based around AA because... He probably has Concealment Expert, Inertia Fuse, and other than that, probably doesn't have, I mean, obviously doesn't have Radio Location or anything like that. So he has the ability to actually grab some, uh, a little bit more AA. I'm actually going to uh, bump up the a the audio just a tad, because it's a tad quiet right now. So bump that up and hear those guns a tad more. Um, but overall, he's in a pretty good spot. The He has the Destroyer. The Destroyer hasn't YOLO'd. He has some cover from the CVs, and the CVs are on the spot, but... It's pretty much him, and that's the ship I really worry about right now, is that Dunkirk. Uh, his, the French, I don't know what it is, French battleship, it's just the trajectory of the shells, the size of the caliber, size of the shells going out. They absolutely just wreck light cruisers when it comes to um, the USN light cruiser line. It is just the counter. If you've ever played high tier, the Jean Bart, the Borgogna, uh, even the Alsace, they just obliterate, obliterate the uh, light cruiser line it's just it's just the perfect little mix but um still nothing's really consistently hitting him and <laughs> something even went middle so look at the mini map right now it's him and this matsuki shout out to the matsuki for not getting 
destroyed. Um, everybody else. So there's two CVs. There's two over here. That's going to leave eight ships. One ship just died in the middle. There are seven ships on that side. And this is pretty normal these days, it seems like. And uh, that New Orleans is having a bad day. New Orleans just loses this fight almost every time if it doesn't hit some good AP salvos because the Helena just pumps out too much DPS. Um, but look at that. Seven ships on that side. We have a Ganais, now a Marblehead, a Bretang, a Dallas, a Shiretsu, a New Orleans that just got killed, and then the Normandy. They are all getting held up by three ships. Well, technically four. Um, so they are in a pretty bad spot. So carry pants are going to have to go on. Downside is is uh we are down to about two-thirds life i mean even though he is going to kill this new orleans um he has taken just over just under half of his uh, health to get this kill and that's a bit of a bummer for him because he is going to need to basically fend off an entire side all by himself but if he gets lucky he'll need one more salvo right here again just gonna consistently take that damage you're not gonna be able to kind of bounce a lot of stuff looks like this torp this destroyer hasn't really hit of uh, too many salvos of torps on anything so although he is alive which is fantastic and there is probably gonna be the final fire the furious might take the final kill he gets it right there so first kill on the board is him and uh we're looking at the rotation the nicholas has either gone back into middle he's gone off the cap or rotated back we have a couple ships rotating back so we have the dallas and the marblehead rotating back dallas the shira uh, the Nicholas, we're not sure if it went to the left side or if it went to the, um, back into the channel. Um, but lo lots of this. Now we did have a fail div right here, so it's never what you really want to see. Um, so a bit of a bummer, as you see, one of the fail divs guys are up here. Um, we have one of them right here and then the other one is at least rolling back. So not too much use out of, out of that div, it seems. Um, but uh, we're gonna have to just kind of watch that as we go. But a couple kills for the team, and that's pretty good. Up to 69,000 damage. Nice. 10 fires already. So I wonder if he has Des Moines on this, or not Des Moines, Demo Expert on this captain. Could potentially have the flags as well. Actually shot Dark there, so that's some pretty good information. Um, he shot Dark there, which means the Destroyer isn't over here, the Shira. So the Shira might have gone back or completely cut in here. So that's something we have to kind of look for. But he is focusing the right target, because if he focuses these guys, the DD, or, and there's the Shira right there. So we got that information. So the Shira wasn't out wide. Um, one thing he should have done is either, is probably message the uh, the Matsuki saying, hey man, there isn't the DD over there. He's either in here or he's rotated away or really far back. Um, not, I wouldn't really worry about that Congo. That's going to be easy food for both the CVs as well as the... Um, uh, as well as that destroyer but he really has to watch this dunkirk but he is going to get in a really good spot to then hunt down this destroyer um as long as that dunkirk doesn't land like land a, a monster salvo ooh, and lost the propulsion oh he did have, still have his repair so dunkirk just shot he does have the ability but he can probably wreck this uh uh the shira right here he, i mean if he has one salvo that's what easily one salvo for him he's not going too fast maybe overlet him uh right there but uh, it's all right. Helena will then get that. So a bit of a juke. On the, the the 200 IQ. How do you uh, how do you prepare for them not to have last stand? But it's all right. He is going to sit right there. Uh, he has no last stand, so he's not going anywhere quick. And that should be a kill right there. Oh, very unlucky. Very unlucky. Um, <laughs> already up to 800,000 potential damage too. So the Dallas might take a little bit of pressure off of him. Uh, a couple light cruiser AAs too. Uh, if I'm this Dunkirk, I honestly don't really worry about this Dallas too much and probably focus on the Helena. The the Helena is such a bigger threat than this Dallas, but if he can get the broadside, that's fine. Again, that Camelus can go from the start. Prob not really the biggest threat for this, and as you see right here, the Matsuki honestly could probably just charge him and just get the kill, at least get him those points. And there's a CV in the... What's this goober doing? We got a CV right in the right in the middle. What are these guys who are watching too much flambast? They're all going middle right now. Um, well, this is a pretty easy kill. So again, 100%. This is the the target focus. It, you know, we're even right now on planes, or even right now on ships. Um, they've lost two tier sevens. We've lost a tier seven. They actually lost three tier sevens. So they're up on that. They lost their Helena. So if he can get that again, no Halsey. R.I.P. Because we would have popped off and saw the fireworks. Uh, even getting the random citadels that's always the best the HD citadels we have no spots on this though um only thing i would i would probably do a tad different 
is just start talking to the CVs. Uh, it, it may seem, you know, like a lot of people don't talk, don't listen, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. But if if you're just like, hey man, could you guys focus that Dunkirk? I could kind of do this or do that or blah, blah, blah. That's what I would be doing right now. That's the only thing I would see being different. Rizzo is going to get that strike in there, um, but he is going to be able to hopefully dodge that. He does dodge that, yeah. So probably has propulsion as well instead of steering gears for that. But if, if I were him, that's the only thing different I would I would see or I, that I would do that I've seen so far this game. I would have a tad more communication with your CV. Yeah, I know you can't trust really, you know, you can't trust that many people um, when it comes to random battles. But you can hopefully trust a random person. I know one of the CVs, he's one of the supporters of my channel. So I would definitely trust him. Uh, but uh, it, it's always worth kind of some having some communication between your CVs. Because if he would have told him to maybe focus, because uh, they have a what, uh, like a what I call a few like pocket kills. They have the Ashira, which is basically a one shot, has like a hundred life. Um, they have the oh wow, the Congo actually killed that Matsuki. Oh, when did that happen? Okay, well that Matsuki at least he didn't die early, but he pushed that guy away. I would have these guys focusing on certain things. Um, I would say hey, that Shira. Can you focus that? Hey, blah blah blah. Can you focus? Can you focus that Dunkirk? That Dunkirk is basically his only threat. Um, the Shira is going to be something that's very easily found. If they can focus that Dunkirk, he can kind of just murder everything else. He's going to kill all the planes. He's going to be able to kill those destroyers as long as he gets spots. But what we're seeing right now is kind of a lack of communication, and the team is falling down. Um, so he is going to get that Karav. So we're starting to lose this, and right now the positioning is pretty terrible. Um, when it comes to the CVs, we have the Ranger pushing into an Akatsuki, and I think the Akatsuki is pretty healthy. Uh, the Dunkirk is still alive. That Ryujo is still in the middle, probably just bound, uh, going backwards, and the Congo is over here. So uh, I'd be playing this a little different, but what he is going to be playing it right here is going to probably net him a tad more damage. Um, if I were me, I would basically be pushing into and killing this Ryujo. I would have 100% turned in there and gotten that kill earlier and then rotated over to get that ranger because those CVs are going to start pumping in a lot of damage and CVs having to worry about other planes and other ships like that tend to cause a tad of a distraction. Um, and as you see right here, both CVs are now focusing on this Dunkirk, which at this time he could have been dead. Um, but one good thing is he's using the, the, <laughs> the Furious as a perfect distraction so he can avoid some salvos and already past the 100,000 damage mark up to 140 and the ranger is still over there too so that should be a pretty easy kill and still knocking out planes that helena a is extremely strong so um but one thing i'm seeing or one thing i'm not seeing much of a focus man that matsuki didn't get any damage on him that's actually really surprising i didn't see if he detonated or not um but probably not probably just got a little overextended and not too much again this guy i, I wouldn't this wouldn't be my target going for it they are kind of getting some control back um for that but uh, again just a little bit of a lack of communication i wouldn't be going for this congo i'd be like cvs focus on the congo i will focus on the, the cvs he repped one fire so this is gonna be pretty easy farm too again he's gonna go for a play that would probably net more damage um than i would potentially get uh but uh, it's just a little bit different i tend to go for a tad more map control than kind of farming damage um in in a lot of situations the congo is such an easy kill or even like a ranger or a uh, or, or or a furious that's just a pretty and he's ripple firing he he's not really a threat but obviously he's going to stack 20 30 000 damage off of the ship because of course he rep on fire and they can kind of just not have to worry about it but the thing is look at the positioning now on the helena he's a tad farther away from a lot of this and the cvs are getting time to re start regening those planes the ranger is extremely low now so th there's there's things i would do differently um again he's probably going to net more damage than i ever would in this play style but probably pushing in killing that ryujo because he had forced the repair on the ryujo probably would have got the kill on that ryujo um and probably talking a little bit with the cvs earlier see he's at he's now at a, at a threat of, of potentially taking cv strikes consistently now what i mean by that is he only has one aa consumable um one thing we did see earlier was he used both his aa consumable as well as his fighter plant on the first drop if it's a double cv since they are tier sixes and the hell on his aa is pretty solid again he's using it on the right planes um 
support bombers are definitely the planes you want to be using them on uh, because they have potential for the damn strike. Uh, but one thing I would probably do is probably alternate a lot of them. Um, like one one drop I would have used AA, one drop I would have used fighter plane, one drop A, one drop fighter plane. As you see, his fighter planes didn't get a single plane kill, um, at least so far. Didn't get a single A, uh, a single plane kill because his AA basically ripped through it. So one thing is if you would have had a fought his fighters, he could have potentially locked up on this. So that's, I would have done that a tad different alternate because obviously he's, he's taking away. I wouldn't say he's wasting his fighter planes, but he's definitely not getting the kills with them that he could have gotten elsewhere. So that's one thing I potentially would have done differently. Um, would have alternated that because the Helena is just going to rip through tier six planes on a pretty consistent basis. And now he's basically left out in the dark, but luckily the Ranger, uh, I don't, the Ranger should have pretty much rotated away. So the Ranger is basically giving a free kill and the Helena is gonna laugh at that at that broadside armor and continue to just kind of farm him out. But we have a Normandy as well as the uh, Furious focusing on the one ship. Ranger dive bombers could definitely hurt, uh, but he should be able to get this kill. I don't think that Ranger can even get away. And the rate of fire in DPM is just so good. Got a pretty lucky roll on that. And the Ryuzhou ended up killing the Normandy. So again, looking at the positioning for the next kill. If I were this Helena, I would have already started to turn in. The reason why I would have already started to turn in and get the guns on the left side is because one, the same amount of planes would have gotten away and I would have already gone towards the next ship. So um, already up to 200,000 damage though. Again, he got a lot more uh, damage than I probably ever would have in this game. And that's pretty good for him. The, the CV the CV is focusing the Ryuzhou. See, look how low the, the Ryuzhou is right now. That's one thing I would have pushed a tad early. The Ryuzhou ended up getting a kill on one of the battleships. Um, so that could have uh, definitely helped him again. A couple small things, but again, just a ton of damage. I'm going to continue to farm these planes. Um, I know the end tally, so I'm interested to see how many they continue to throw. So other than that, though, a little bit of lack of communication, a little bit of uh, a bit more of a farmy play. But, I mean, he got 200,000 damage. You can't be mad at that, right? Um, but overall, just pretty dang good. It looks like I don't know how much how much life the Akatsuki has. The Furious, again... Uh, the CVs are all kind of pushing in uh, to one area. Uh, yeah, he's up to 204k. That's pretty nuts on a... Oh, it looks like the CV might be able to kill Akatsuki. The Furious' rockets are, um, I would say, pretty consistent at doing okay damage on DDs. They're pretty accurate. He has the, the uh, shot up there. So if he gets him right here, it's kind of a GG. Ryuzhu, I think, is going to need three Torp hits out of that set to actually hit him. So he's going to need to get one set through. Both of them hit, and then the next set through. So the CV just locked in that. So GG's to him. CV's the CV's on their team ended up getting four kills. I think if they would have communicated a little bit more, they would have probably got a. Uh, I don't think this game would have lasted as long. Um, so like this right here would have probably happened. Again, the perfect spot right here. The CV has to drop. They need to get the kill. Uh, he only has 8k, so it's going to be tough. I don't know how much how much damage the Ryuzhou has. And so with him going in between those islands, the CV basically had to uh, kind of hold off the drop. And he's already shredding the plane. So there's no way he's going to probably be able to do the damage. He's probably deplaned and he missed that torp. So it's going to be pretty impossible for this Ryuzhou to consistently get this kill. He had to... Uh, I think the Ryuzhou still needs three torp hits, depending on that. Probably going to roll between 4 and 5k uh, max on torps. So still going to need three. But uh, 40 seconds, and he's bringing AP bombs. I don't think it's going to be able to get it uh, with that. He's already dropping them? Is he killing himself? What's he doing over there? Oh, no, he's going to get that. So there we go. Just a couple salvos, and it should be there. Will they get, will they get the final kill? I don't actually know. Um, but things they could have done... Uh, a tad different i just think a little bit of communication would have gone a long way in this game um a little bit of communication would have gone a long way with the cvs uh you know you can't trust randoms that much but 
Uh, you can sometimes convince people to focus a target, and when you do that, it can actually go a long way. But they'll bring this home pretty dang close, actually. A full 20-minute game, but that's a lot of damage. Holy smokes. The Helena's is so good. If you guys haven't gone down the USM Light Cruiser line, the Helena, the, the Dallas even at Tier 7, once you pick up Inertia Fuse, I always recommend grabbing Inertia Fuse at 10 points as fast as you can on that line. Uh, you get to the Dallas. Dallas is solid at six. Helena at seven is just an absolute monster. Cleveland, obviously, at eight is, is extremely good, too. But this is a really, really good game. 206,000 damage. Made some awesome credits, some awesome XP. Uh, got that uh, Confederate as well as High Caliber. Almost the Kraken. I think he got one kill stolen, um, I think, on... What was it, one of the battleships or whatever? So almost had a Kraken. I'll give him the honorary Kraken. Uh, but 323 target hits, 54 planes. That's some good XP right there. Uh, incapacitations, 4 kills, 19 or 18 fires. Got like 10 of them extremely fast. And then a bunch of Citadels, LOL. Uh, good, good job on the CV. So overall, fantastic game. And then there it is, 3,200 base XP. At the top of the team, more than doubled uh, what, the, what the guy below him had. That's that insane uh, plane uh, XP. So there we go. And um, as you see, oh no, the Matsuki. Our friend the Matsuki. 20 base XP. Uh, he was doing so well, not dying instantly. And then he ends up with 20 base XP. So he burned some fuel and that's about it. But overall, uh, he was having fun, right? But that's a nasty base XP. That's really, really good. And then the detailed report to finalize it up. A lot of things took a lot of damage. Um, so the Helena is just awesome at that. And look at all that all that extra damage. A million potential and, and all that good stuff. Only received 22,000 damage. Uh, ended up taking the majority of it kind of early. But uh, was able to kind of focus on that. And shout out to the CVs for tanking a couple salvos so he didn't have to. But anyways, that was as we slaughter his name again. Uh, Isasum dropping a awesome replay on two brothers with the Helena, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are interested in joining up on the weekly replays, uh, I will put a link down to my Discord. We have a weekly replay channel. Post the screenshots, post your replays of some monster games, and maybe you'll get chosen. Winner each one will either get a CC container code or a thousand doubloons. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and this gameplay, and I will see you guys on the next one.